Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. Today I am so flipping excited because we are finally filming a Christmas video and that means we are finally in the Christmas season. We are finally in the festive period and I couldn't be happier. I have got my Angel Collection loungewear on which is so so comfortable, so so Christmassy and I also have my little Merry and Bright Christmas mug down there as well so it is officially Christmas time on this channel. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys, today was actually meant to be a November favourites video but if I'm being honest, I actually haven't been out this month and I haven't bought a lot either. The UK was actually in another second lockdown during November and I wasn't able to go to work. So I've literally been sat at home and I haven't really done much shopping and I haven't really got a lot of favourites to show you. So instead of doing a November favourites, I thought we could do the next best thing. And if honest, I think it's a little bit better. Now I'm going to sit and run you through my Christmas decorations for this year, which I'm so, so excited about. Honestly, I'm so happy that it is almost Christmas. I am so happy that this year is nearly over with. I am just keeping my fingers and toes and everything in between cross that we can actually see our family for Christmas time and at least have one nice day together this year because 2020 has been an adventure to say the least but nevertheless we are getting to the end of it and we are leading into Christmas time and everyone's got to be happy during Christmas time it is just the rules so I thought I would start this festive period off with a bang and show you all of my Christmas decorations as you guys may or may not know I actually still live at home I live with my parents so the only room I really mainly have to decorate in my house is the bedroom and it's fair to say I go all out when doing so I've got quite a few decorations and I already have bought some for my future home as well which I'm not actually going to show you in today's video but if you are interested in seeing it then please let me know in the description. Today we're going to solely focus on decorations for my bedroom and what I'm going to put up this year. I'm going to focus this video around my statement pieces that I have for my bedroom and the items that will take centre stage but I do have a few other pieces that I probably won't show in this video but not to worry because in next week's video it's actually going to be a decorate with me for Christmas where I'm going to run you through absolutely everything and you're going to see me putting it up and then I'm going to give you a very Christmassy festive room tour as well. But let's actually get into today's video. I feel like I've been badgering on forever and I'm actually going to start with talking about festive bedding. Now I actually don't have a Christmassy bedding set. I don't know why, I just never really like how they look. As you know my room is very grey and white and on my bed throughout the rest of the year I do have yellow accents. So a lot of my current bedding that I have doesn't actually go with the Christmassy vibe but I do have a lot of white bedding which I feel works just as good. So I normally just change the accessories that I put on my bed with it. One thing that I have got for Christmas this year is this lovely big pillow to go on my bed and I absolutely love this. It is honestly one of the comfiest pillows but one thing that is really lovely about this pillow is that it is actually an advent calendar. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't actually use this as an advent calendar but you easily could if you wanted to. I got this pillow from Marks and Spencers and like I said it is honestly the comfiest pillow in the world. It is so nice to snuggle up with in the evening time and as I'm sure you can probably see it is so big and fluffy as well. To go with that pillow I do actually have a little Christmassy blanket too and I really like that it's not in your face Christmas. It's very subtle and just very wintry. I really love the tartan design on it. You can easily get it out a little bit before Christmas and it wouldn't look strange in your room. And I just really love the comfy cozy vibe that it gives off. I actually got this blanket from Primark a couple of years ago and honestly you cannot go wrong with Primark blankets. They are so affordable. I literally want to say I think this blanket was under £10. It was so so reasonable for what it was and it suits the bed perfectly especially with that pillow on as well. It just really creates a lovely vibe and a really cozy feel. Moving on, one thing you can't go wrong with all year round but especially during Christmas time is candles. I absolutely love candles. I always have candles on and they are just one of the best ways to make your space feel so comfortable and homey. So for Christmas this year I actually already have two candles in my little Christmas box and they are both Yankee candles and they smell amazing. I'm kind of tempted to put one on already just because they are so so good. Like I said I've got two and they're in the scent Christmas cookie and Christmas Eve. I feel like it's only fair to put this Christmas Eve one on on the day so I'm actually going to try and save this one but I don't know how good I'll be at doing so. But this Christmas cookie one smells insane. It is exactly my vibe. It's a bit like a vanilla scent but it does have a little bit of spice in as well which I absolutely love. And I'm really tempted to put it on already but I'm going to save it to the next video. Moving on to some actual Christmas decorations. I'm sure you guys can see but in my background I have actually added a little addition of this little star here. And I've only had this star for a couple weeks but I absolutely love how it looks. I think it is so so pretty. And I got this little star from a company called Design Vintage and I absolutely love it like I said and this star wasn't the only one I bought it actually came in a pack of three and as you can see that's the largest star and then I've got a medium sized one and a tiny baby one too even though I bought these for Christmas I feel like you could have these up all year round as well and I think a really nice thing to be able to do with them as well would be to wrap little stars around them so they glow as well I might make that a little project for me and do that in the future but at the minute I really like how they look just by themselves and even though they do look nice as they settle together they do equally look just as good by themselves as well and I specifically got these for this 
little area because I want to make this spot by the piano a lot more mysterious looking rather than very festive in your face Christmas and I think stars is the perfect way to do that. So in regards to this little section I actually did pick up another little star decoration and this is what it looks like. I think it is so so cute. Hopefully you can see it properly. I actually picked up two of these and as you can see it is a light up star and it gives off a 3D effect as well and one thing that I really like about this is you're actually meant to hang it from the top like this so I can hang it off the ceiling at different levels on my piano and I think it will look really really nice. I picked this up from Matalan. It really wasn't expensive at all. I think it was about £8 and I just think it's such a nice simple decoration that can be styled so many different ways. I should have spoken about this decoration earlier because this is going to be the main centerpiece in my room and I absolutely love it. I think it is one of the nicest things I've got in my collection and it is this little candle box. Now I picked this up from Sainsbury's of all places which is so so random but it was so affordable and I think it looks so nice for the price that I got it for. I think when you look at this you would have thought I would have picked it up from somewhere a lot more expensive than Sainsbury's but as you can see it's this really lovely candle box. I absolutely love how it looks. It's got a glass box at the top and then it goes into a wooden box at the bottom and then around the sides it's got all this lovely foliage and then hopefully you can see that in the middle there are two white pillar candles as well which you like and I just absolutely love the vibe this gives off again. I think it is so so fun and I just know that when we eventually do get a house in the future we're going to be able to take this with us and use it because it is so so lovely and I just feel like it can be used so many different ways. Another decoration I've had for a little while but I absolutely love him I think he is a classic is this little snowman tea light holder and like I said I think he is so so cute. Basically he's really simple to use he's just got a little hole in the back and you pop a tea light in there and then it shines out from the little stars in his belly. I think he has such a sweet and simple design I might even pop him in the background of my videos and he's just a little decoration which I've had for such a long time but I know I'm going to keep him for an awful long time as well. As you guys can probably guess I do of course put a tree up in my bedroom for Christmas time but it's only a mini tree and the ornaments that I do put on it are from a selection box so they're not very impressive and they are very similar to one another and when I do eventually get a house in the future I would like to have a Christmas tree that's got loads of different baubles on that don't relate to one another. I just really love that style and I think it would be a really nice idea to do and I do already have a few of them statement baubles that I was talking about. I have already picked up some and obviously in my bedroom I don't hang them on my tree as it is so small but I do like to put them in other places in my room. So the first ornament that I want to show you which is probably one of the most special ones that I've got in my collection is this little one and as you can see it is a Mickey Mouse ornament. I actually put this up in Walt Disney World last year and the reason it is so special is because it is personalised and it says 2019 in it. Me and Callum got engaged in Florida last year and we decided to pick this up afterwards and get the year written in it as well so we could remember it and we wanted to make it a little bit of a tradition every time that we went on holiday to pick up a new bauble for our tree. Obviously that hasn't gone to plan this year, no one's been travelling this year so we weren't able to do that. So if anything that just makes this one that we have already a lot more special too. Like I said this one doesn't actually go up on a tree, I don't know if I'll ever put it on a tree but it's nice to have it on display especially during Christmas time. Some other ornaments for the tree that I've got already which I really really love are these two and my mum actually bought me and Callum one of these last year in our Christmas Eve box and they are just so so fun and different. Like I said me and Callum both got one so one has an L on it and the other one has a C on it and I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it but they do have loose sprinkle glitter pieces in the middle of the bauble so you can shake them around and the best part is they are both silver and gold coloured so no matter whether you have a silver Christmas tree or a gold one they are sure to go with either of them which I really like as well. I think at the minute I'm edging more towards a gold Christmas tree in the future but I don't know whether that's going to change so it's just really nice to have these and have the variety of them as well. They are actually all the main statement pieces that I wanted to show you in today's video. As I said earlier I do have a few more little pieces and decorations that I put up in my room but these are the main statement pieces that I wanted to show you. If you want to see my collection as a whole then please make sure to stay tuned to next week's video where I'm going to be running you through my decorate with me for Christmas. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please let me know if you did. If you guys did like this video then please let me know by liking and also leaving me a comment down below. Any questions, comments, concerns then please pop them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Let me know where some of your favourite places are to shop for Christmas time and where you've got some of your favourite decorations from this year because I am really trying to build my collection up a little bit more so when we do eventually move into a house I already have some bits. So any ideas you guys have would be much appreciated. Also if you like what you see from this channel and you want to see more in the future then please don't forget to subscribe to me either. At the moment I'm currently uploading two videos a week so there is loads of content to watch and loads coming out in the future as well. Subscribing to me is the best way to keep up to date with absolutely everything going up on this channel and is also a really good 
good way to support me as well. But that's all for today's video. I know it was a little bit of a short one, but hopefully it's getting you excited for next week's video. Please make sure you stick along for next week. It's going to be a really, really good one, I assure you. Have a lovely rest of your day, whatever you might be doing. Stay safe, and I will hopefully see you very soon in the next video. Bye!